After removing the spindles, I cut them down to size. I cut mine down to six inches a piece. I use Papa Color chalk paint. And I also use Rick's Mix and I use the dip method or some of them I actually poured on. Probably ended up with over 500 individual blocks. After all the blocks are painted, I let them dry overnight. And while they're drying, I use paint.net. You can also use Photoshop. I use paint.net, it's free. It's something I'm familiar with. I've used it for many years and I like it a lot. That's what I'm gonna show you how to use in this tutorial. First thing you have to do is download paint.net, go to getpaint.net, download it. Once you have it installed, open it up. Since the blocks are six inches wide, I want to make the art five and a half inches wide. So what you do to get started, go up to the little white object up in the top left corner. This creates a new project and you add the appropriate dimensions. For this project, we're going to do five and a half wide by one inch tall. Now I change the background color to black. You do that by going over to the paint bucket, left click inside of the image. Now add a layer. This is where you'll type in your words. Go up to the layers tab, click add new layer. Now go over to this double arrow, this little symbol here. This switches the colors from white to black. Since we have a black background, we want white letters. So click that. Now click on the T symbol. This is for adding text. Left click within the project box, type in your word or phrase. I have an order from one of my stores, so I'll be doing several different phrases. Type in your phrase, resize the text by going here, size it accordingly. You can change the font type here. Click on this B symbol if you want to make your text bold. Now center the text within the frame. Okay, now we have the quote ready for a single inspiration block. Here's how I make multiple quotes at once. Go back up to the top left corner again, click on new. This time we're going to size it according to the paper that I use, which is eight and a half by 11. Now go back to your inspiration quote. Go to this box on the bottom right. If you hover your cursor over this arrow, you'll see the merge layer down. Click on that. Now the layers are combined. Go back up on top, go to the toolbar, and just to the right of the scissors icon, you'll see copy. Click that. You're copying your inspiration quote that you just made. Now go back to the eight and a half by 11 paper that you just created. Add a new layer. Now click on paste. It's a button just to the right of the copy button. There's your quote. Now you can copy and paste as many times as you'd like. I'm going to fast forward through this since I have so many different ones. Just repeat the same process I just shared with you. You can move your quote by left clicking and holding. Release when you have it where you want it. I like to line them up so I can easily cut them out with scissors. To rotate the paper, Go up to the image tab and press on the rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise. Copy and paste accordingly. When the paper is full, save your image and then print. I use 28 pound paper for this. I use laser printer. Just cut them out. Try to be as neat as you can.
I use Liquitex matte medium for this. You can also use Mod Podge, but I prefer the Liquitex. You could also use a squeegee. I just use my fingers. For a protective finish, I like to use Counterculture DIY's Quick Coat. It's good stuff. Thanks for watching.